Corrective exercise, Ryan Mollahan. I'm here to show you the squat position, how to execute the squat properly using your hips and your glutes as well as your quadriceps. Crystal's going to take the position, she's keeping her feet squared and she's using a piece of equipment for safety. This is in case she needs to sit because she loses her balance because of she putting the weight into the heels. As that position is set, you start with the knees bent and you start to level change pushing your bottom backwards and your hands forward. This will compensate for the weight. Once you find a tough sticking point, then you come back to the top. Continue these repetitions and avoid the knees going over the toe. You want to make sure that the knees stay behind the toes, distributing the weight in the heels. Make your bottom go backwards as your hands come forward. A forceful exhale on the way up. Take a deep inhale on the way down and an exhale on the way up. These repetitions will not only make your legs much stronger, but will build endurance, get the endorphins flowing, and really make you feel strong. Nice job. To make this a progression, we'll take a wider stance with a slightly everted foot. The legs are pointing to the outside. And we're level changing with a wider position. This position is going to engage more of the glutes, more of the undercarriage muscles, the inner thighs, as well as the quadriceps and the hamstrings. These level changes need you to remain as tall as possible, keeping the trunk nice and long. This is an excellent move to progress into some core training. These squats can be done in 15 reps and 20 reps with one to three sets. Again, this moderate discomfort is making your muscles progressively get stronger.